hello guys welcome to how to fix tag in this video guys we are going to fix the issue starter repair could not repair your pc whatever error you are getting like your pc did not start correctly or automatic repair could not repair your pc okay so if you are getting the same error this kind of error your window is not booting this video is for you so first of all we need to access the starter repair screen like this if you are not able to access the screen like this you need to shut down your system two to three times so, so how to do that in order to access the startup repair options so if you are able to access the screen like this you can fast forward this video but if you are not able to access the screen like this i will show you how to shut down your system two to three times so that you can access your pc okay so let me shut down my system and i will show you how to forcefully shut down your system in order to access the advanced options okay click on shutdown or if your pc is not accessible so this is the power key let me turn on my pc now now as soon as the window loads the manufacturer logo appears now window will load now you need to press the hold power key for almost 15 seconds like okay and now it is shut down properly now turn it on again and repeat the process two to three times now window is loading you can see now hold the power key for almost 10 to 15 seconds now you can see it is shut down okay okay now release it now again turn it on your pc if you see diagnosing your pc then leave it okay now you can see leave it now you don't need to do anything preparing automatic repair you should get this option now but you need to follow this step carefully two to three times okay now you will see diagnosing your pc now you can see you should be getting this option now your pc did not start correctly or automatic repair could not repair your pc you just need to click on advanced options now we need to click on troubleshoot now we need to click on advanced options again okay you will see here the six options so first of all we will try the command prompt here click on command prompt okay you may have to enter the admin passwords here you need to type the command sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption inside our windows and repair those okay so now wait for the process to complete now command you can also see on the screen so i am fast forwarding the video to save your time now you can see the window resource protection found the corruption and successfully repaired them okay okay you just need to click on exit okay and continue with windows 10 or 11 or just you can turn off your pc and done. if your problem is solved then well and good if not we can go to this screen again and click on troubleshoot and click on advanced options click on command prompt now this time we will repair the hard drive corruption as well as the bad sector inside our ssd or the hard drive okay the command is chk chk dsk space space c colon the drive letter where the window is installed then space slash f space slash r so this is the command csk dsk space c colon space slash f space slash r and you hit enter now this command will go in a five stages and this will repair all the bad sectors as well as the hard drive corruptions so this is very powerful command you need to just wait now i am fast forwarding this video to save your time okay so guys this command is completed after 30 minutes now we need to type exit from the command prompt and continue with windows 10 or 11 okay if you have a still problem let me check if my issue is solved or not so let me go to the 
exit and continue with windows 11 okay it seems like it's booting so let's see now you can see the error has been gone and my system i'm able to boot into the system okay now you can see if you have still problem what you need to do is you need to access your pc like this previous one if you are able to access your pc but getting the error so you can hold the shift key and then click on restart option here just hold the shift key here like this and hold the shift key until you get the advanced screen options just hold the shift key please wait keep holding shift key now release the shift key then click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and if you have made the restore point this option is also very good for you click on system restore now click on next now you can see i have made the restore point on my windows so select the latest date from here no loss to your data your data is safe in this process as well as the system so click on next and once you click on finish option you will get this option once starter system restore cannot be interrupted do you want to continue click on yes and your system will be restored to the back stage when your system was working fine okay so if you have not made the any system restore you should be getting the red error so you cannot proceed with the, this step so we can go to troubleshoot click on advanced options click on again command prompt okay we need to type at the fix boot commands so boot rec space slash fix mbr and hit ok once you hit ok you need to type this command fix boot boot rec space slash fix boot hit ok if you get this message access is denied ok what you need to do is you need to type this command boot sect space slash nt60 sys and hit ok now again type the same command this command fix boot now you can see the command is completed successfully now you need to type boot rec space slash rebuilt bcd and hit ok now you will see the please wait now you can see the command is completed successfully you need to just cut it from here or you can type exit and continue with windows 10 if let's say your issue is still not resolved that you have left the last option which is troubleshoot and reset this pc you can choose keep my files but this setting will remove all the install app which you have manually installed but your personal data is safe in this process okay now you can choose a local reinstall resetting this pc options and getting things ready and your pc is going to reset now thereafter your issue should fix okay if you are unable to reset your pc some error you are getting just make a bootable pen drive and then reinstall the fresh window or check your hardware so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech